So, you've signed up and you're about to start a business. Bravo! As your own boss, you might be asking yourself what the next steps are to setting up and running your business. Well, we have nine simple steps to help you get started on your entrepreneurial journey. Step one, and quite an important one, register your business. As you might know, there are several ways to do this. We are going to focus on limited companies for now. A limited company is a company limited by shares. This means that the company is legally separate from the people who run it, and as such has separate finances from your personal ones. You will also have shares and shareholders, and can keep any profits the company makes after paying tax. Step 2. Create a bank account. Now, you'll need to set up a business bank account to be tax compliant and keep all your finances in one place. Fortunately, you can set up your business and your bank account in one go through Tide's company registration section on our website. We'll even cover your incorporation fee to give you a kickstart. Step 3. Once you've received your Tide card in the post, you can activate it in the Tide app. Easy. Step 4. You can then add money to your account via a bank transfer, cash deposit, or payment from a real paying customer. Wouldn't that be nice? Step 5. Check out your amazing member perks once you've funded your account. You'll be able to find out all about the benefits at tide.co forward slash member hyphen perks. Step 6. You can use your Tide card for anything business related, from buying a new computer to a skinny chai latte for your client. Not only that, but you can rest assured with built-in fraud protection. And if you fancy yourself as a bit of a jet setter, you'll be pleased to know that you can use your card when you travel abroad. Step 7. Send your first invoice. Hooray! You're officially in business. Once you're set up and ready to go, you can use our free invoicing tool with multiple payment methods for your customers to help you get paid. You can also customize the template to suit your business needs with a spot to add your logo and a personalized message. Step 8. Tide's Startup Hub. Join our hub of all things startup related, from financial support to help with admin tasks and everything in between. Really handy for shiny new businesses like yours. It's our online space where members can go to manage their virtual office address so no one has to know if you're working from your living room, domain registration so you can buy and host your own website, and VAT registration so you can register for VAT in a simple and easy way. You can manage all of these services in one place and even begin to build a business credit score which makes you more attractive to lenders. Step 9. Once you're set up, don't forget these key dates. You should submit your confirmation statement one year from the date you set up your company. Think of it as your company anniversary. The UK tax year is from the 6th of April to the 5th of April the following year. It's important to remember that the deadline for your company tax return is 12 months after the end of the accounting period it covers. You may have to pay a penalty for late filing if you miss the deadline. Having accounting software can help you keep track of your submission dates and makes organizing a breeze. Limited companies can submit VAT returns through the Tide platform. No more getting bogged down with admin. And last but not least, you'll need to register for VAT when your turnover exceeds the threshold of £85,000 or more per year. Just something to keep an eye on, but means your business is booming. There you go. You're all set and ready to do business.